Hello and welcome back to another episode of Europa Universalis Solis 4. We are continuing our game with the Ottomans, so let's get it going already. No, Jamies, I don't want to marry you. Every single episode, more than once, they really want to marry me. Uh. Yemen on a doll. That's fine. We are improving relations with Persia, which is good. That siege fell. Well, let's kill off that guy. Might as well. Shuf Aswan, good. Get you up here. Exceptionally expired in the Ottomans. Okay. So yeah, it's going fairly well. 65, 20 years have passed. And we are in the third war against the Mamluks. And if I were to guess, we'll get another war squeezed in if I can get a border with Shamar. Which I might. Would you accept vassalization? You wouldn't. Then forget it. You're going to die. Speaking of dying, if you're going to die... Might as well, right? Might as well. Okay, another one fell. Merge and move you up there. How am I in force limit? 47 out of 50. I'll garb ya. I know that run. You? Yeah, you. Get up there. <coughs> level 1 Theologian. If you were level 3, I would take you in a freaking heartbeat. You are not, though, so. Yeah, now our empire is stable. We got two revolts. <coughs> not, not that much. I'm going to reduce. Keep the aggressive, well, the war exhaustion down. As soon as I get this one, we should have Syrian as a, uh, an accepted culture, I think. Might be wrong, though. I've been wrong before. Might be wrong again. Our manpower is increasing steadily, which is nice. We are already uh, pretty much taking the technology as soon as it comes available. More or less. A couple of years. So we might actually get away with taking the administrative technology. Well, not the admin. Uh, we can get away with getting the... Uh, what's it called? Aristocratic technology, or ID group next, I might say. We might get away with that. Although I'm not sure if I want that or if I want to take actually innovative uh, next. So for the technology cost minus five percent. But if I take this one, it will be a little bit, m a little bit um, slower than this one. I'll take that a little bit slower. Take my time with that. So if that's the case, might as well take an aristocratic and get going on the uh, min tech group uh, to actually get to level 10. Yeah, that probably is a, a better idea. Get a military here and then an, an admin again here. So yeah, Mamluks, you are pretty much done. Uh, I Although, I want those two provinces. So, I will wait. Okay, let's convert. Let's convert Sula. Apparently, Van will be annoying to convert. Armenian. Yeah, you'll be really annoying to convert, aren't you? Four Armenian provinces. If I'm not mistaken, culture map mode. Yep, four Armenian provinces. That is going to be annoying. I think we can get decisions to actually increase that. And we can get a level 2 advisor, or a level, or an inquisitor rather. So that's also that. Let's move to Antioch with you. You will actually merge. 15-1, 13-3. Yeah, I need to rebalance these armies. so we can fabricate another claim. However, I am going to wait a little bit because I need uh, the diplomats soon. Siege of Suez fell. God damn it! I tell you, it's every now every two songs we get the Christmas Carol from Paradox. Yeah. Uh, no oh well.
Okay, you know what? Venice, issue embargo. Yep. I'm also going to send an insult. Change the culture of Albania. Awesome. I need this one to fall though. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, damn it. Defenders desert. Below a thousand. Jesus. Send an insults. There, 35. Good. Some more you guys. Am I improving relations with you already? I'm not. Uh, yeah. I'll have to improve. Let's improve for a little bit. Until that province actually falls. Then we'll see what we can do. We're nigh with Malika. Sure. I would actually prefer a good blob here so that I could defeat in one fell swoop. Take a piece of land and release as vassal and then integrate over time. Of Karga, not the one that I wanted though. How many cavalry do I have, by the way? Ten. I need more cavalry. Okay, let's take the septical thresholds. Oof. Five autonomy. Yeah, I'm going to accept. Syrian, did I get you as an accepted one? Mm, not yet. Well, as soon as I integrate Syria, we'll have that. Uh, at the very least. Okay, so I got you guys. Let's actually start to see what I can do with you, Mamks. Okay, good. As a fun queue. Good. Siak with Pasai. Thank you, diplomat, for arriving promptly. Okay. So that's this, that, this, and that will mean 10.8 aggressive expansion. However, 120 of that. I'll return this one. 92. Take all the cash that I can. And that's it then. Can I get away? No, I can't. Ugh. So I'll need transports here then. Isn't that right? What if I just take these and that? Oh, damn it. Yeah, there's no freaking way for me to actually be able to get a border with Edges and get a border with these guys. Also having everything connected. Really? Because I cannot cross from the Sinai to Mun. Okay, then if that's the case, who do I want? Hedjaz? Probably do want Hedjaz then. Take these three provinces, kill off Mamluks in here. 106 can get away with a little bit of something like that. Sure, I'm not going to ask for war operations. I'm going to actually see if the truce will reset. 78. Well, you know what? I'll take that because I will be playing war on Shamar as soon as I get a couple of provinces from Edges. 9 over aggressive expansion. 16 to Edges. That's not that big of a deal. Let's do it. Now we will core... Alcarac first. Persia. I'm already improving relations. Let's get an alliance going with you. Alright, oh I'm still at war. Never mind. It's fine, mate. I am no longer at war now. So now you will accept? Yes, you will. 80. Good. 
get an alliance in Privilations and we'll get we'll be able to get them uh, as a vassal then we can dissolve the alliance with the Jimmies and we will be fighting against them soon oh if Shamar actually gets over to here that will be brilliant because I can declare war straight away okay let's have to get a claim on Edjaz then continue with uh, Taima this time around 21 aggressive expansion, not that big of a deal. Ragusa, you're g getting attacked by Venice. Right, then in the meantime, let's declare war on Venice, shall we? Not Venice, n at least not Venice directly. It will be for Rhodes first. They're allied with Gen Genoa and Venice. I need to keep an eye out on the navy, though. So let's actually merge the navy before I get anything done. I'm actually going to stop the, patro uh, the to patrol. I'm going to stop the patrol, rather. Send them all there, and then we'll see what we can deal with. So, create 5, 44 war score, just that. Maxus is lower. Oh, this is an important center of trade, that's why. 18, so Venice. Uh, 44. Mm, 36, 70. 78. Yeah, I can piece you out separately. And it will be fine. 78. Yeah, that's totally fine. Who are you all at it with? The Knight, Castile, and Savoy. Erigan. Leeds Personal Union. Hungary and Portugal. At war with Bosnia. Okay, let's merge my fleet. Should I have a m more fleet somewhere? There we go. That's where they were hiding. 55 out of 50. Should be enough. Should be more than enough, actually. Let's actually take a look at the ledger. Navies, let's sort by galleys. Venice, 46. How much gold? 1.50 something. Not great, then. Not great at all. Smurge, you guys. 16, 16. You have that. I'm going to need to recruit two units of cav then. 37 galleys, 7 transports. Venice has how much? 46 galleys. They have 71. Their force limit is 40. Damn it. The thing is, I need to break their hold off the sea. I really do need to do so. See where I can find their fleet. Oh good, they have the fleet split apart. That's great. Okay. Apparently England and France went about for another round. Yep. England lost Calais and actually was released Cornwall. Utrecht, Magdeburg. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. You are repaired. Start to move there. We'll need to break the Venetian fleet. I'm hoping we will be able to do so. Although with Genoa as well in the mix, it will be a little bit tricky. Okay. Where are you? Here. Straits of Messina. Sea of Crete. Straits of Messina. You're going to move there. Then Sea of Crete. And those are actually galleys. Okay. So we'll declare war for the knights then. Oh crap, I have no diplomats to send. 14 days. Damn it, I'm going to lose the freaking opportunity. 22nd. Yep, I'm going to lose it. Where will it go? Agency. Okay, then move up there. 1st of October. Pause the game. Rhodes, declare war. Venice in general will join in. Declare war. Hopefully I'll be able to pull that off. There we go. So now we are fighting that sea battle. Should be a win. An easy, easy win. And I captured the galley. Awesome. Let's keep on moving. There we go. Another battle won. 39. They are now merging their fleets. Which is a bit annoying. But we knew that. Coming in. I'm actually staying still there. Let's see. No leader, they have Mario Bembo, apparently. 
a shock two. Hopefully we'll be able to pull that off. We have more galleys than they do. Although they have a ship a couple of ships in here. Well, I am fine with it if they don't join in. Earlier. Well, at least we are sinking a lot of the galleys. We lo just lost one, just lost two, and a light ship. But we were above the force limit anyhow, so no big, not that big of a deal. And we can take up. I will do that. 700. Do that. Team Ariot Cavalry. Let's replace it. There we go. If I can break the hole that they have on the sea, I will be able to just win the war easily. Alright, good. I did lose eight ships. Now I will repair these guys and then move straight away over there. And then I'll have pretty much free reign everywhere that I go. Genoa is in it. Uh, Rhodes is in it. Venice is in it. The way is paved for me to actually take pretty much every single province uh, in, the, uh, in the sea around here. And, of course, Genoa. I'll probably take that one as well, just because. Not sure if I will take it for myself, if I will give it to Athens. Might I might actually end up giving it to Athens, just because. I still need to break the Genovese fleet, though. I believe. Genoa. Alright, let's sort by name. Genoa. They have no navy. Actually, they have force limit of 24. No navy. Good. That helps. Uh, damaged. Still have, still have a lot of damaged ones. But it should be fine. Let's see if I can actually catch them. If I can, uh, we will be golden. There we go. Even if I lose a couple of ships here, I do not mind. I need to actually kill off these guys completely. So that I am able to just go about my business without having to worry about their navies. Alright, so we lost two ships there. 31 galleys. We did lose a couple of galleys though. There we go. We lost two galleys there. Alright, so I'm going to detach a blockade there. Oh jeez, really? Uh, you know what? I am going to then give the barks. We'll leave the barks and we'll leave about... Half the galleys? Sure, and I'll take this unit. No, it's not going to be a blockade of 100%, but it will be enough for me to actually move ar move about and get all that stuff uh, into my possession. So let's convert Sofia. Sure, sounds good. Only 69 are being blockaded. Venice is not being blockaded. Everything else is, though, so that's lovely. Now, we will go precisely there, and we will start to position my troops to actually invade as it is required. So like that, and you will actually go to Moria because I will need uh, to move a couple to Corfu, a couple to Crete, and I'll probably need to move a couple over there as well. So that's that. Oh, I kind of forgot to take that province. Oh well. How are you? 134. Okay, it's increasing. Okay, let's attach a blockade here. Move along. Actually, you know what? Let's attach a blockade. You and hang on. You can block five base stacks. I'm guessing this one is five. So merge. Because I'll need that and we'll sink that navy. Collecting taxes. Lose piety, lose prestige. No, I'll keep the piety high. For now. For now, I will keep the piety high. Okay, so I have a couple of ships that are already set up to do whatever they do best. There we go. We just sunk that. Let's move there to actually defeat these guys because they are pissing me off. Then we will go to Rhodes and we can actually start to move there already. We are going. We are getting there, so... Let's move straight there. We'll start the siege there. <coughs> there we go. Detach. If I can. Detach, maybe? It helps if I select the army. Maybe. Just maybe. Let 
Do that, then do this. Actually, do that, this, then that. Good stuff. HRE enacted Austria to be their leader. Let's start to move to sign up. Because I'll need to send this troop up there. You also go and dock there so I can actually uh, invade Rhodes. Into the boats you go. Get there. 7,000. 6,000 infantry, 1,000 cavalry. It will be fine. We'll get that done. You will, you know what, get 2,000 troops. Move there. This is a level 2 fort, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, and this one is a level 2 fort. And that one is already being sieged by Athens, so that's fine. And then, you know what, get rid of 2,000 mercs, and you move up there, because I need to actually crush Dalmatia. Hungary, would you grant me military access? Oh, well, there's no point. I would need to actually ask for Austria as well, so might as well just do this uh, myself with the transports. Right, so that is done. Describe you, move you up there. There we go. Uh, actually, you know what? Select army. Yeah, we can consolidate that siege. Move away. It's better this way. Start to move to Moria, please. Dock there. Battle of Um. We won. No surprises. Dock in Moria. Should be able to wipe. Yep. Going to detach. Move to Um. Are you here? You are here. Let's get you into the boat, grab you, move you to Crete. Transport there. Then we'll need to actually send an army up there, which is already here. Good. Again, all of this will go through Athens. All belongs to Athens for now. Could have actually started the integration of Syria before I declared war. Oh well. It'll be annoying because I'll have one less diplomat to deal with, or to work with. If I ever get a claim on Yambu, I might actually take Medina for myself as well. Actually, I do have a claim on this guy. And I consider this to be one of their core provinces. They are allied with Yemen, Mamluks, and the Timis. Really, you are you allied the Timurids. Well, that might be one war that I will need to make then. That depends. Let's take a look at the Timmy. Let's sort by manpower. I need to actually sort this by uh, that. No. Not here. And force limits. Or army. Timmy's have 51,000, but no manpower and military attack level 3. They are still a horde. So if I were to declare war on them, it would need to be about now. Okay. So I guess we have our second war. However, I need to actually get the... This will be a little bit tricky. We'll be fighting the Timmies there. Okay, good. We'll be fighting... Well, not good. We'll be fighting the Timmies on this front and the Mamluks on this one. So it will be a little bit tricky. We'll probably f uh, forsake this front for a while. To let them take attrition, sieging up my lands. And then we will go straight down here. However, we will be... And then we'll go straight there after we finish up the Mamluks. However, this means I will actually need the, the Persians to be my vassals by that point. Hopefully I will be able to get that done. We'll see. Okay, uh, yeah, you are sieging already. Let's get you up here so I can actually move my troops there. Apparently they have a thousand there. Uh, sure, I will grant the aid. I am actually losing cash due to reinforcing. Siege of Kaffa, so they actually won those dumbasses. Okay, let's recruit another leader. We have quite high army tradition. Hopefully we'll get a good one. A good one it is. That might also mean might also mean that the the other guy is about to die. It'll be annoying. Siege of Chios. Okay, done deal. Again, Athens, you'll take that. Move to Suga. You did not move up to Catholic. 
Or to orthodox, I might say. Detach damage. No. And no. Do that. Send them there. Crush them. Lift that siege. Then move to Theodoro. Gained Alcarac as a core. Transport. Move there. Done. Now I will need to actually start to send troops there. So let's merge these and actually move them to Albania, which is the closest port that I have um, to uh, Treviso and everything and everything everywhere else. I'm going to detach a siege here and move to Theodoro. After that, we will detach another siege, get them on the boats, and actually start to move up there. So you will move up there to Albania as well. Attach another siege, move there. There we go. Oh, I need to put a cut in the episode. Damn. Okay, guys, I thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, and if you actually are uh, enjoying the LP, please do leave a like. It really helps the channel out a lot. And until next time, please do take care, and goodbye.